this is one that I, I, I couldn't pass up. I, I look at this with the eye of someone, as a photographer who creates narrative photos, who arranges people and does a tableau, really. Um, and all I can see is the awkwardness of the photographer not getting it right, of, of having this idea in mind and everybody feeling like they're being told they've got to play along and nobody feeling particularly comfortable about the roles they've been played. It's like everybody knows this is never going to work except for the photographer. Um, and obviously the photographer still felt it did work because he was quite happy to put it out in the world and create a print from it. Um, initially, you, I think you look at this and you're not sure, maybe it's a hunting party you're seeing, you know, they, the, the people are holding their easels like rifles, you know, they're kind of, you know, sort of sitting around. But you, you have, when you start looking, you, what on earth is this guy doing lying down with his hand, you know, this, this guy next to him with one leg up and his, his hand on his knee? You, who sits like that? Who lies like, you know, is this really the group of artists ready to go out? You just happen to capture them um, with a wife here with a bowl of soup ready to, you know, feed them up or they've just had their lunch or they've just come back or whatever. This guy just with a look on his face going, for God's sake, get this thing over with. Or how long can I grip my teeth until you, you know, <laughs> he's just, I've had enough. I'm just going to stare over here and I'm just, you know, let me know when this is over. Um, he's, I've got no idea what's going on. Just, just get on with it, you know. None of them look particularly comfortable. They all look like they've been forced into some god awful pose. Um, and there they go. If imagine that's the only, you know, when you talked earlier, you said about the idea of how many photos of us are out there. And in this day and age of um, security television and being in the background of somebody else's wedding photos, there could be literally thousands of photos of us out there that we never know. Yet perhaps for some of these guys, this is the only known photo ever of them. And imagine being one of those, and that's the only photo there ever was of you, you know, lying on the floor like this, trying to, I, I have no idea. I just, I just feel for the, for the poor souls <laughs> stuck in that photo, having to have that photo taken of them. Well, and if, if they knew uh, that we, looking at the photographs today, would have no idea who these people are as individuals, <laughs> Because they're not named, they're not identified. But I think it's strange. It is. It is that point of very often we look at old photos and we feel that they are giving us some sort of depth and seriousness, and that there is a there is a weightiness that we need to, you know, we kind of almost place them on a pedestal. I think that this is history, and we and it's supposed to be important and it's weighty and it's, um, and. I don't get any of that with this photo. I don't feel the weightiness of it. I just feel a photographer who was trying something who got it really badly wrong, but wasn't self-aware enough to even realize he got it badly wrong because it's printed and it's out there. Now, I can only think it's that somebody as, as like where they sort of, they studied Tableau, they've seen, maybe they've seen some of those fantastic photos we say, we see sometimes of, you know, people in the Midwest you know, with their hunting rifles and out there and there, you know, and you go, my God, that is a piece of history. And these are real people. And they were out there in the real wilds and they were taking their lives in their hands or, you know, or even, you know, like when you see that carriage on the, the ferry about to go across to, to sky, you, you just have that sense of jeopardy and that sense of reality. And he's trying to recreate this, but failing badly. Well, you know, and I wonder, as I said, what, what the intention was, but clearly there, there was some notion of capturing this group of artists at Coburn's Path at this particular time. Um, and that makes it, uh, I think, all the more, all the more uh, sort of bothersome that, that we don't know exactly who these, who these artists were. So if anyone out there uh, recognizes uh, any of these folks from one of your family's albums or, uh, you know, uh, any other kind of photograph, uh, do let us know. Mm, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Check your family likenesses. If this person spit an image of your brother, this may well be your grandfather. <laughs> <laughs>